Hello guys, how are you today? Um, so here I'm gonna show you something um, in real time that like this is a campaign that is running right now and I just wanted to show you how I'm, um, I wanted to scale it and it's exactly following what I've been telling you in the past um, video like how to scale things. So basically we had those uh, one, two, okay, uh, three, four alt sets. Like those are the um, the old ones. Um, those all the old ones. And um, as I said before, like we had some sales from this. This is two sales. Um, actually, it is on 14 sales right now, and it's showing 8, so there is um, a mess up as usual. So, um, we are we were on 14 sales, and um, we got 3 sales from this one, because I know, this is why I tell you to track, uh, to put your, the URL track, so you know each one, how much sales it brought. Um, exactly from um, the platform that you're using and not Facebook because whoever buys uh, a two it's still considered as one purchase for Facebook um, so let me just tell you what's going on here so this one we, ch we chose to shut it down because it wasn't getting us anything only link clicks and it spent eight dollars and it didn't get any at the cart but one so we thought this wasn't like doing uh, performing the best and we already had uh, three guys working here so after we um, after we separate uh, after we we, we uh, let those run for 48 hours as I told you before that was like the scaling time so what we did next is we opened a retargeting ad as I told you and it already brought one sale um, actually it brought two sales but it's one purchase here Facebook sees it and um, so two um, it's three dollars per purchase which is like great okay so what next do we do we do is take a good um, you remember when I told you to observe your um, knowing your buying audience so this is exactly what you have to do um, listen to me and listen to me well how you do this the best way so here we've got uh, a lot of assets and just ignore those ones the, the ones that I did here and go to only the, the original ones so um, I mean the ones who've got sales or things so we go here as I told you and we go to age and gender and here it will be like um, showing all the assets like the assets all the assets so how do we do this to see which one which well, what is like the general for all assets so we come here and most of you guys don't know how to do this so pay attention to this assets in this campaign and you go in this campaign aha now it shows us all the things like all the assets, data, and we come here and we put purchase. And here we have a winning, a winning age. Remember when I told you there is a, uh, sometimes there is only one winning age and not like that um, example I used in the last time. So obviously 18 to 24 male is our uh, winning age. So add a course is 15 initiate checkout is 9 and link clicks is 38 and purchase is 5 so this is our winning age so what did I do next easy peasy let's go down uh, let's go back to assets in this campaign so this will show us the assets and let's not break down so this is what I did next I came here and as, as I told you before Scandinavian to 18 to 24 only and male this is what I did I did um, a new answer for those guys. Scandinavia is the uh, the Sweden and all the countries that I told you before. Uh, Sweden, Norway, uh, Denmark, Netherlands, and this is the one answer. 
I can see that it is performing well and it will bring some sale eventually. So two add to cards, nine link clicks for five dollars spin, which is like good. Here you can see that the CPM is also good. The CPM is uh, three dollars in the Scandinavian countries, while in Italy and Spain, it also brought us um, nine link clicks and two add to cards. Eventually, there will be a sale. I think here we're still waiting and <clears throat> giving it some opportunity, but obviously it's worth like the try. And here in France and uh, Germany, uh, separated also, we've got um, five link clicks and one add to cart. So it, it has spent uh, seven dollars uh, so far. So we're gonna we let it run uh, for tomorrow and see if it's going to do better. But see, guys, this is the way that you need to do stuff. So we saw that it was working in the U UK. So we've done the retargeting first of all, and we see that it's working for us. And then we opened up some uh, alt sets for the winning age in France, Germany together, Italy, Spain, Poland together, and Scandinavian countries together. So I just wanted to show you this quick uh, example how d we do scaling. Sometimes it works like 90% of the time it works and 10% it doesn't work. So don't freak out if it doesn't work and um, Instead try like to break down uh, like each one of those has a lot of interest inside So I will need to like break down and do 18 to 24 because I already know the winning age and do each um, Interest alone now next if it doesn't work. So I'll try my best uh, to uh, optimize and to scale this campaign while not losing the ROI. So we spent like 84 and we already sold um, 14 which shows me here 140 uh, euros so we're still in a good ROI it's not the best but it's still good so we can do some stuff here as as long as you are still in a positive ROI everything is cool everything is beautiful the Sun is rising there is uh, flowers everywhere and um, there is good food oh that being said I'm hungry now uh, I need to go and eat maybe but I just wanted to show you this quick um, example of how things go in it's uh, a campaign in the like in the scaling process now where I want to scale it um, and now when I want to like to take good decisions so as I told you before I'm not doing anything um, different so everything as you already know guys so um, I'm gonna do a next one about um, that big campaign so stay tuned uh, bye bye for now